What happens when two long-established singles players on the ATP World Tour join forces to compete as a doubles team? In the case of Edouard Roger Vasselin and Julian Benetou, that decision paid instant dividends. The French pair have won two titles in 2014. The first came in Marseille, and the second at Roland Garros, the holy grail for any French player. It was great atmosphere. French people were waiting for, for a title for from very long, so it was uh, much more than just a title. It was in France, it was a Grand Slam, it was in front of the, our family, our friends. Everybody was happy, so it was us together on the court, but it was also all the stadium and all the, the French people, so it was, uh, it was terrific. Ah, it's maybe the biggest and greatest memory of my career. It's more than than a major title because it was Roland Garros uh, in France uh, in front of our home crowd and family and friends. It was just magic and uh, next year when we'll be back for, to play there, it's, I think it's going to be great also. Their triumph at the French Open forced the world of doubles to sit up and take notice of this Gallic partnership and the reason for their sudden success. Well, they probably bring a bit more of the traditional side, uh, you know, some serve volley there, and uh, it's nice to see them end the points up at net as well. They can play every shot on the court, you know, front and backhand, good serve, pretty good volley, moves well. There's no weakness in their game. Very consistent from everywhere on court. I mean, these guys, uh, they got great second balls, so every point you play, you got to make at least three or four shots, and that gets in your, in your head. Before winning the French Open in doubles. They're a you know, great tennis player as a single player. Beneteau was top 30 and, uh, and Roger Vasselin uh, winning matches, make finals in a ATP Tour and uh, around the 30 in the world. So, uh, you know, when you, you see great single player playing doubles, they have a good chance to win. They are complete players, so that's why they are playing well. I think they are good friends too, and they, they, they like each other, they like to play each other. So I think it's a very good team, and they can, they can finish number one in the world for sure. A recent run to the final of the Shanghai Rolex Masters has seen Beneteau and Roger Vasselin qualify for the Barclays ATP World Tour Finals for the very first time. For both men, playing in London will represent a landmark moment. Now we hope to, yeah, to, to keep these memories and uh, to finish well the season and to have a very good Masters. We know that in London it's, it's special and we, we are very proud to be part of it. I've always seen the London on TV, so it would be great, uh, great to, to be there and to, to play there. And uh, I heard it's a great atmosphere, it's a great crowd, so yeah, I'm very, very happy to, to be part of, uh, of this race and hopefully we do well there. They've brought something fresh to the world of doubles. So is the stage now set for this French pair to cap their debut year in style. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, we head to Paris. The last chance for many before the final showdown. And we spotlight the top eight singles and doubles teams who will be battling it out at the season finale in London. Don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com and to vote for your favourite players in the 2014 ATP World Tour Awards presented by Moet and Chandon. See you next week.